Breast cancer is a disease that occurs when one of the cell groups that make up breast tissue undergoes a change and proliferates uncontrollably, resulting in a tumor. The cancerous tissue spreads first to its immediate surroundings and then to the lymph nodes close to the breast. In patients who are not diagnosed and treated in time, the cancer spreads to other organs and progresses to an incurable stage. The incidence of breast cancer has increased considerably in recent years. According to global statistics, the incidence of breast cancer is estimated to be around 40 to 50 per 100,000. In addition, according to U.S. data, the probability of a woman developing breast cancer during her lifetime is expressed as January 8th, even though the incidence increases with advancing age. There are some ways to prevent breast cancer. Avoiding cancer-causing substances such as smoking and alcohol. Eat healthy and exercise regularly. Maintaining an ideal weight. Breastfeeding for the first six months for mothers who have a baby. Not becoming a mother too late. Paying attention to the use of hormone medications. Breast cancer risk factors. Being a woman. Being between 50 to 70 years old and postmenopausal. Having relatives, on the mother's or father's side, with breast cancer in the family. The closer the degree of consanguinity and the more relatives with breast cancer, the higher the risk. Having had breast cancer before. Early onset of menstruation and late onset of menopause. Having never given birth. Having your first child after the age of 30. Giving birth but not breastfeeding the baby. Taking long-term hormone therapy. Living in a modern urban environment. Smoking and using tobacco products. Obesity, gaining excess weight, especially after menopause. And consuming large amounts of foods rich in saturated fats. Lack of physical activity. What are the types of breast cancer? There are various types of breast cancer. However, it is basically divided into two main groups, first, non-invasive or in other words, in situ, not spreading, and second, invasive, with the potential to spread, group. Non-invasive cancers. Cancers that do not spread, in situ, are divided into two groups, ductal carcinoma in situ and lobular carcinoma in situ. Especially with the prominence of screening mammograms after the 1980s, it is noteworthy that the incidence of non-invasive in situ cancers in all breast biopsies increased from 1.4% to 10%, and their rate in all breast cancers increased from 5% to 15%. Classic lobular carcinoma in situ an important finding that increases the risk of breast cancer 8 to 10 times in both breasts. In addition to close monitoring, such patients can be given some preventive medications or surgical interventions can be performed to remove both breast tissues, simple mastectomy, for preventive purposes. With the addition of prosthesis and similar surgical reconstructive procedures with plastic surgery interventions, Cosmetically pleasing results can be achieved. In situ ductal cancers, ISDK, intraductal cancer most of the time it does not reveal itself on examination. The symptom is an irregular small calcification finding detected on mammography and or pleomorphic microcalcification, bloody slash transparent nipple discharge from a single duct. ISDK is considered to be a transition from normal cells to invasive cancer cells with the potential to spread. Since it does not form a mass, it is removed with a wire or by marking with radioactive substances. If the breast cancer is single focal, enough clean tissue is left around it. When radiotherapy, RT, is applied to the remaining breast tissue, the disease has a good clinical prognosis. If it is widespread in the breast, the entire breast tissue needs to be removed, simple mastectomy, and in this case, up to 100% complete recovery is seen. 
involvement of the axillary lymph nodes in pure ISCC is rarely seen in 1 to 3% of cases. For this reason, in some types of patients with worse features, high grade, etc., it may be necessary to remove the guard lymph nodes, sentinel lymph node biopsy, that are most likely to contain cancer cells in the axillary lymph nodes. Invasive cancers. Ductal carcinoma, which develops in the cells lining the breast ducts that carry milk out of the nipple, is the most common type of breast cancer. This is differentiated according to its ability to spread. Ductal carcinoma is known to be in situ if it does not spread. And invasive if it has the potential to spread. Cancer developing from milk-producing glands, lobules, is called lobular carcinoma. Lobular carcinoma is also divided into two according to its ability to spread. If it does not have the ability to spread, it is in in situ form. And if it has the potential to spread, it is in invasive form. What are the symptoms of breast cancer? It takes a long time for a cancerous cell in the breast to form a tumor and for a specialist to detect it during an examination or to detect it on radiological examination. Women can usually detect a mass that has reached a size of at least one centimeter thanks to the manual examination method. Today, most of the symptoms of breast cancer can be detected by the woman herself. Cancerous lumps are relatively hard, have irregular edges, a rough surface and cannot be easily moved within the breast tissue. Symptoms of breast cancer are A palpable hardness or lump in the breast Recent asymmetry between the two breasts Inward recession of the nipple or breast skin Breast redness, sores, eczema, crusting, cracking Orange peel-like appearance of the breast skin Change in shape or orientation of the nipple. Unusual swelling or increase in breast size. Pain of a different character than that found in the breast during menstruation. Discharge from the nipple, especially pink or red. Stiffness, swelling or mass in the armpit. Diagnosis methods. Your doctor will first listen to your and your family's medical history and then perform a physical examination. Afterwards, he or she may order imaging methods such as mammography or breast ultrasound. Ductoscopy, examining the milk ducts by entering the mouth of the duct at the nipple with very thin fiber optic systems. Ductography, also called galactography, imaging by administering contrast material through the nipple. Magnetic resonance imaging, MRI. Given the importance of early detection of breast cancer and the possibility of screening, the following measures are of great importance. Self-examination. Patients find 70% of breast cancers when they examine or examine their own breasts. Therefore, women after the age of 20 should observe their own breasts once a month, preferably in front of a mirror after the end of menstruation, and feel their breasts and armpits with their hands. If they notice any changes, they should consult a doctor as soon as possible. Step 1. The examination starts in front of a mirror. Hands are placed on the waist and it is first checked whether the breasts are symmetrical. A visible mass in the breasts is examined, and the breast skin is checked for any depressions or discoloration. Second step. The same examinations are repeated with the hands raised. Step 3. Then the supine examination is started. The examination starts with the right breast. For a more comfortable examination, a small pillow is placed under the right shoulder back. The right hand is placed behind the head. Step 4. The examination is performed with two to three fingertips of the left hand. Starting from the nipple circumference and gently pressing on the breast tissue, it is checked for any sensitivity or masses with clockwise circular movements. After the entire breast is examined, the armpit is examined. The left breast and armpit are evaluated similarly.